Hello, in this video, we will be texture painting and shading our character so that it will look awesome when rendered. Open up the character that you've been working on so far, or alternatively, if you're just joining us, you can grab the model from this link to follow along. So, let's get started. Uh, with this character that I've been working on, you may notice that you might get an option that says Reload Trusted Ignore. The main reason that this pops up is because uh, the rig uses scripting and uh, scripting can be potentially dangerous. Uh, you can create scripts that could uh, be quite harmful to your PC. So Blender created this feature to try to protect your um, your PC effectively. So that's the main reason why they're putting this. So they're, they're asking you, should, should, they, should you trust the scripts that are in this file? So in this case, I think I trust Rigify. Uh, they're pretty reliable, so I don't think they will do harm to my computer. So I'll just press Reload Trusted and then press OK Revert. So now your Blender file should come up normally. So to create the character shader for our character, there's three main things that we need to look at. UV unwrapping, texture painting, and then finally shading. So the first thing we need to do is UV unwrapping. What this means is, in order to paint textures on our character, we need to separate the body parts of our character and lay them flat like a piece of paper on a canvas so that we can paint on it. We also may need to cut out parts of the body that is not visible so that we can stick it somewhere on our canvas to paint and effectively cover every part of the character and uh, have it fully textured. So our canvas, so if I just drag this window out like this, change this window to the UV image editor this will be the canvas where we'll paint the textures for our character. So before I go ahead and do that, let's define the UV unwrapping. In order to cut out the parts of the body and stick it onto our canvas, we need to be able to create seams. Okay, so let's go ahead now and UV unwrap the whole body. Okay, so let's start with the eyes. Let's select the inner ring of the eyes there. And I'll just select that. Control E, mark seam. Let's select the inner part of the lips. Like that. Yep. Control E, mark seam. Uh, let's select that loop over here. To set for the tongue. Control E, mark seam. And then right across the middle of the tongue, you can select that middle vert. Um, and deselect everything else. So I hit C and then middle mouse button to deselect everything. And I just want the tongue part only. So, yeah, it's doing that. Select that bit there, perfect. And Control E, mark seam. Cool. Um, and where else? Okay, and the face, the nostrils as well. Uh, the nostrils aren't so important. So Control E, mark seam. And the ears. Select the the loop that goes around the ear. Perfect. Control E, mark seam. Do the same to the other side. Control E, mark seam. Then perhaps we might just select a loop that goes around the ear like so. It'll be reflected onto the other ear as well. So just going to deselect anything that's not part of the ear. Like so. And make sure it stops at where the, the the loop that goes around the ear. So control, uh, do the same for this side. Yep, so it stopped that loop. Control E, mark seam. Perfect. And finally, let's turn on limit selection invisible. Select the top parts of the forehead. All the way around like that. And then select the verts across the top of the middle of the head and go all the way down to around about where the first loop of the neck is. 
So somewhere like there, control E, mark seam. And finally, select this loop of the neck. And also, oops. And also, and also this loop here. So that we have a loop that goes around the neck. Control E, mark seam. So that the head will now be a separate island on our image map. Okay. Um, oh, sorry, we need to do the other nostril as well. Control E, mark seam. Okay, so it's looking good. I think the the head is now done. So now let's look at the arms. So for the arms, I'll just select this loop over here, this loop over here, then go down to the wrists. And let me select this loop here and this loop here. Control E, mark seam. And then maybe select uh, one line from the uh, back of the arm. So maybe select. So maybe select this loop here. And then we will just deselect this area here. Do the same for this side. Deselect all of this. And then Control E mark seam. I'm obviously adding seams in areas where you won't really see much of the character so I try to keep it as hidden as much as possible, the seams. Over here of the hand, uh, let's just select this loop here that connects with that loop. Uh, and then over here we select this loop. Over here and then deselect all of this. that sorry uh, yeah something like that then control E mark seam and then maybe we'll cut we'll create a little cut over here for the hands for, for the thumb sorry okay so control E mark seam I don't, I don't really know if that's the that's the perfect uh, seam position but Anyway, so I'll just go with that and let's have that mirrored onto the other side as well. Okay, now let's do the legs. For the legs, I'll do pretty much the same thing as the hands. So select the top loop there, select the loop over here, control E, mark seam, and then maybe just select one loop over here. Oh, sorry, I'll do the same onto this side. To save time, you could have actually um, created the seams before you apply the mirror modifier, just before you rig this character. When you have the mirror modifier on, any seams that you do on one side will be automatically mirrored to the other side. So that will save a lot of time. The main reason I didn't do that in this um, this series is because uh, I didn't want to introduce the idea of UV unwrapping. I didn't want to introduce UV unwrapping too early in this series, so that's the main reason why I didn't actually follow my own step there. So that's why I'm doing this manually now. So go ahead and select uh, these lines of so, so go ahead and select these lines like so. Control E, mark seam at the back of the leg. Create. We'll also create a seam at the foot. So let me just bring that up. And then over here, we'll, add in, we'll select that loop over here. Same on this side. Control E, mark seam. And I think that should be okay. So the hands and the legs are now done. So finally, we'll finish it up with the torso. So for the torso, I'm just going to go ahead and select this side of the body. Like so. And deselect um, the sides of the leg and then on this side I'll also select uh, this side of the body sorry let me just do that again okay so for the torso I'll select one side of the body like so no sorry I'll select this side of the body um, then deselect all of this, 
do the same for this side and then deselect all of this so the main idea is just to select the size of the torso Control e mark scene and then where it connects over here additionally let's just turn off the subsurf for a sec yep I'll additionally add one extra vert over here Control e mark scene okay so that it'll, it'll, we can have a, a cut over here in this part of the island select all of that uh, we don't want any part of the face or the hands we only want uh, the torso part so I'll select that deselect all of this Okay, so control E, mark seam. And I think we've now finished the seam uh, selection process. Might also add in a seam over here. So let's just do this manually. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Control E, mark seam. And I think that's looking good for our character. So let's save this. Now if I go ahead and UV unwrap it, so to do that, uh, pretty much just select all the vertices, press U, and then unwrap. Okay, so now when we UV unwrap everything, we can see that we have um, all our islands laid up quite nicely. So you can clearly see the parts that we added our seams. It has cut it up and laid it nice and flat on our 2D canvas so that we can paint on it later. So we know that this is the head, where the eyes and the nose and the mouth is and the ears. Uh, this could be the, uh, the feet or the arms. Um, we don't know that, but uh, obviously we'll later find out when we start to do some texturing. I just want to go ahead and lay out where my islands will be. So I know that the, all this stuff over here, this, uh, the stuff that aren't the legs, arms, torso or the head, are not really important to us. So I'm just going to go ahead and select all these. That, Maybe this could be the teeth, all of this and this. I'm gonna go ahead and press Control L, so that'll select all the linked, and then just scale scale it down quite a bit, like so, and then just put it all to one side. So I'm just gonna go ahead and select this, Control L, move it here, move it there, Control L, move this there, and like so so we don't need to have so much real estate for this one so the smaller the smaller these islands are the less resolution your texture is going rest of the resolution the texture is going to occupy on that so it will appear more pixelated in this area in other words the, the bigger your islands are the higher resolution your your textures will appear so that's the main reason why I'm going to keep the head as the main thing and everything else is secondary Let's leave most of the real estate just for the face, because that's the area where we'll look at our character the most. So I'm just going to scale this up, like so. I feel like it hasn't UV unwrapped the face properly, and I know why, it's because we didn't unwrap this part correctly. So I'm just going to go ahead and press Ctrl E, Mark Scene. And maybe I'll just UV unwrap the part with the head only. So let's turn off limit selection invisible. Select all of this. Okay, I'm just going to select the head only and just. Uh, Re UV unwrap that. Okay, so this is the parts that are related just to the head. So now it's unwrapped the head properly. Okay, so I think that is okay for the most part. Um, yeah, I can go ahead and tw tweak these ones. Like, for example, if I want to give more resolution to this one, I can literally turn on proportional editing and then you know scale and give this one a bit more uh, real estate 
but uh, what I'm really literally going to do is I'm going to select the parts of the nose and maybe a little bit of the lips and just generally give it more real estate so that we can have more texture information. Our UV unwrapping process is now done. We have a map where we can paint our skin textures on. So go ahead and save that. If you'd rather just get the completed 3D model, please click on the link below. And also please subscribe, like and share and I hope to see you in the next video.